We're here at Speaker Point, Software Engineering and Solutions, at their open house and eighth anniversary. Welcome to Fuse Logic TV. I'm your host, Walter Schwabe, joined once again by Greg Campbell, the President and CEO of Speaker Point. Greg, thanks for coming back on the show. Thanks again, Walter. Okay. Um, we've been talking with a lot of folks here at your open house, and we've been talking analytics and the, the different uh, things that they have to say about analytics and their opinion, but let's, let's get a definition. What is analytics in your mind? Sure. So let's just talk about analytics for business. And typically when we look at a business and how they're using analytics these days, we really look at three main areas, or let's call them buckets, for example. The first one is that capital expenditure. If we're building a new pipeline or we're building a, a new, let's say an ambulance uh, a house, a, a garage kind of thing, where do we make that capital expenditure? The second type of bucket is in the operational side, and that operational side is very, very deep. It can talk from, from the HR perspective, how are our personnel doing something or not doing something, to, you know, we might be running a manufacturing floor, how is that actually uh, running or not running based on analytics? And then in that, in that third bucket, it's really the web side of, of analytics. And that's, you know, typically where Fuse Logic is dealing and a lot of the SEO companies, you know, how, that, how, that, uh, how uh, traffic is coming to our websites and uh, how, how people are thinking about the companies. Typically, SpeakerPoint is dealing in the operational bucket where we're looking at uh, the data in real time um, when we enter into an agreement with a customer, we're typically looking at their data that they have sitting around and we're trying to understand that data in terms of uh, situations that could arise that need to be mitigated right. or other situations that arise that are full of gold and we need to actually stoke the fire and let them happen kind of thing. You know, you told us a quick story. I'd like you to elaborate if you don't mind. You told us a quick story about one of the products that you have. Uh, we don't have to go too deep into it, but I like to hear the story about the guys around the, the hood of the truck and the construction environment. You remember that when we were talking about yeah. blueprints? Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Sure, yeah. We have a piece of software called Blueprint Software, and what it does is uh, it's positioned in the heavy construction industry. On a, let's say, a Syncrude upgrader that's going on, there might be uh, 10,000 engineering drawings, isometric drawings associated with that particular project. And if we assume, for example, that we are two construction managers and maybe we're in the middle of a field and we're about to start construction in that field on Monday, uh, we might have a binder with, let's say, a couple hundred printed isometric drawings on them. We flip open that binder on the hood of our truck. And the question is, how do you and I know that the piece of paper that we're currently looking at hasn't been superseded by a newer version that we don't know about since we've actually got to the FTP server and pulled it down and dumped it onto a printer. So barcode soft, or pardon me, uh, uh, blueprint software, it allows a, a fingerprint to be placed on that piece of paper, the blueprint right. itself, and anybody can whip out a cell phone and use a QR code reader, take a picture of that, and it instantly comes up with not only a bunch of information about the document itself, whether it's current or has been superseded, but also you can now attach electronic documents to that piece of paper or that, that blueprint uh, with all kinds of extra information that maybe wasn't there before. So that's going to save companies a lot of time and effort and money and, and also the possibilities of mistakes. It, absolutely. It reduces build errors on obsoleted documents. And we're even seeing that the insurance companies may actually offer some sort of uh, reduction in premiums based on those reduction in build errors. Thanks for that information, Greg. I really appreciate explaining the, the blueprint side of it. That's a pretty cool product. My pleasure, Walter. Once again, we're joined with Greg Campbell, the president and CEO of SpeakerPoint, here at their open house. I'm your host, Walter Schwab.